Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato back for part 6 of my deep dive series on the mod Duglamu Cities for Minecraft. In this video we're going to look at the lumber mill, which is one of the cheapest and really easiest automated tree farms that you can have for Minecraft. So let's look at some of the details on this block. Uh, this block, if you can see in the city planning guide here, uh, uses the 32 by 32 area, which is four chunks, and it'll work 40 high, which is 32 blocks above it, so it can harvest like the large oak trees, uh, and also eight below it. So if you have uneven terrain, uh, like in a forest or something, then you can use that as well. It requires two food per day of any quality, uh, and it will harvest and eat its own apples. So it's active from sunrise to sunset, to get it started and to keep keep it maintained, you need an axe and saplings. And it produces wood logs, saplings, apples, and charcoal. Apples if it's uh, growing oak trees. And charcoal, which is kind of interesting to provide charcoal for some of the other blocks. But we'll look at that in some detail. Alright, so let's place down the block. Let's first turn on our chunk boundaries. Uh, this is a block that you will want to place at the edge of a chunk because you don't want it in the middle as the trees grow uh, it'll obscure the block and make it hard to get to so you do want it on the edges but it is the four by four chunks that we've looked at and if there are already trees in the area then it will go ahead and harvest them uh, we do need to go ahead and give it an axe to do so and we'll give it uh, two apples as well, just so it can have some food. Now I'm going to increase my tick rate as I've done in other videos uh, so that we can see it work faster. So I'm going to set the tick rate to 100 and you can see it's starting to pull down the tree now. It will grow oak, acacia, and birch. Uh, it won't do any of the four by four trees. Uh, it will grow spruce, just the single spruce, though, the small spruce, uh, because it can't plant the saplings in the 4x4 pattern. So it won't do jungle and it won't do dark oak. Now you can see it's gathered plenty of saplings from these large trees, which it's using to replant. Um, and like the farm block, as it gets more saplings, it'll just continue to plant. So they are normally spaced at about a five by five on the edges and then a three by three going in. So at the chunk boundaries, it's five by five. Internally, it's three by three. That appears to be how it does the planting. So the trees do get rather close together and small oak trees, which oak trees are probably what you're going to want to plant because it gives you the apples to feed it. Um, so you can see that it just quickly pulls down the trees at a random tick rate as in the other blocks. So it there's varying time in between them. Uh, but it does have a, a good spacing pattern to it, so it's not a heavy load uh, in your world, really. It doesn't slow down your TPS that much. So I'm going to set back to 20, and we're going to give it a furnace. You can see that it pulls the items into its inventory, uh, it does use the durability of axes, obviously, so you'll need to provide it more axes. Uh, and we'll look at ways to automate that. And then let's um, go ahead and put down a furnace, which I have here, and let it start to produce charcoal. Ah, right there. Okay. And I'm going to increase the tick rate temporarily just for it to get started with doing the furnace. You can see it, it grabs all the things in the area. Now these have fallen outside of its area. So there is a little bit of loss depending upon the edge trees. So these particular apples and saplings will just naturally despawn because they, uh, do, they are not within its active area. So that's something to note. So let's go ahead and let it get the furnace going. Um, before There we go. Okay, so I'll set my tick rate back. 20. 
Now, unfortunately, this uses the most inefficient way to create charcoal, which is using two wood. So rather than planks or whatever, it's, it's using up two wood. So once you've gathered a lot of charcoal, it might be your, to your advantage to go ahead and add charcoal here in the fuel slot. That way you'll get eight wood from just that single charcoal. Uh, so that is an inefficient way, but you're going to get tons and tons of wood from this farm. It's a rather big farm when it's grown all the way out. And as you can see, without us even providing saplings to it, it's already almost covered the entire area. Just a few missing back there. So that is the lumber mill. Uh, a great block just in your general play, even if you uh, aren't totally playing Dougal Moose Cities, then this is a good tree farm block for you to use just in regular Minecraft play. So it's probably the second block that you will produce. Uh, one thing to notice is that in the Dooglamu mod, it's almost got the order that it's recommending that you do things. So the farm block is probably the first one you use, and then the lumber mill is the next one, and then we'll look at the ranch upcoming. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video on the tree farm, the lumber mill for Dooglamu cities. It's a really cool block, guys. Anyway, this is Scott Omato. Please leave a like. Let me know how I'm doing. It takes some time to produce these videos. And feedback is very, very much appreciated. And please subscribe to this channel to keep seeing more updated videos on Dooglamoo Cities and other Minecraft content. Anyway, this is Scott Omato. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.